Salesforce security and identity using social sign-on from Google into Salesforce. Welcome to another installment in the security series. We're gonna be walking through using social sign-on, setting up Google as an auth provider into a Salesforce org. Now we're not setting this up as a community, we're just doing the basic steps in order to use Google to then authenticate and allow access into Salesforce. So here we are in a brand new sandbox. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take a look and we're gonna to go to an auth providers here. And what I've done is I have created a new auth provider and the only thing you need to set is just the name, Google, um, and then I have chosen it. So I'll go ahead here. So from here, if you were to change a new one, you would just choose, and I had chosen Google as an auth provider. So all you need is set up Google, give it a name. Now there's one more thing you need to do and you need to choose a registration handler. And we're gonna go show you the registration handler that I created. So here in my code, I have a STA social registration handler. Now it overrides two methods, the update user and the create user. What I'm gonna do is in the update user, we're gonna pull the user by the user ID. We're gonna then transfer the email, last name, and first name, and then update the user coming in from the auth user data. Now on a create user, it's gonna create a new user, select a standard user profile. Again, this is not a complete solution, just a basic one. Set the profile, create a random number, and read the values and do the basic information to create a user in Salesforce, such as the alias, language local, language local key, and email encoding, and time zone. So these are the only two methods you need to override. And then from here, I chose that class as the social registration handler, and I determined which user to run it as. And then what I'm gonna do is cancel. So that is running the social registration handler it has a user who has context. Now the next step after you have your auth provider is you're gonna go, go to the My Domain Settings and down under Authentication Configuration, you're gonna edit. And now you have the option of the standard login form and including Google. So I am including Google on my login screen and that is all I need to do. So set up the Google on your login, set up the auth provider, and then set up the Google on your My Domain. Now what I can do is take this base URL for this org, and I'm gonna go a new incognito window and paste it in. And now you'll see I get the Salesforce login screen, but I also get the login with Google here included. So what I can do is I can click login with Google and now it's presenting me with a Google login screen. And I'm gonna present, put my Steve at stevetecarc.com. And I'm pasting in my password. Now I have two-step verification MFA on my email account. And I'm gonna approve it. And now you'll see that I'm automatically logged into Salesforce. So this was a very quick series of steps that allowed me to come in here. And if I go to settings, I can see because I'm in an incognito, you'll see it has my Steve at Steve Tech Arc. I gave it a random number when it self when it first signed up. And that's my basic information. So this way you have the ability for single sign-on coming in using social. So again, you want to be in my domain, set add it, the, have set, added the auth server, and then have your auth, auth provider configured here. Those are the steps necessary to set up Google as an auth provider. Now, this does have issues where it'll automatically create new users. 
And so there, you will need to put restrictions on user creation um, from within your code. So this was the basic steps necessary using the built-in auth provider configurations, choosing Google, adding it to your screen, and now you have single sign-on with the custom code you wrote for the, the registration handler. Now you have the ability to have social sign-on. You will add to add, need to add more checks and balances, such as not allowing everyone in. You're going to need to choose the profile, um, uh, check your licenses. So there are a, a number of additional steps, but these are the basic bones to achieve that. Hope this was helpful. Thank you very much. And keep being social. Join me again on Steve YouTube. Steve Tech Arc, same bad time, same bad channel.